this video is created by Jagrat Creations. Useful to the students who are reading for inter CA, IPC or IPCC, reading for BCom, Commerce Graduation, students reading for professional courses like CS Executive, ICWA, or whosoever has amalgamation of companies as a part of their syllabus of accounting, accountancy. Now, in this video, the sum that I'm going to take care of is amalgamation of companies. Just look at the sum on the screen, read it. I'll explain its important points, then I shall solve the sum here before you. Read it carefully. Whenever we want to solve the sum on amalgamation or absorption, we are required to find out the purchase price for a company. For the purpose of calculating purchase price, there are generally two methods, net asset method or net payment method. The purchase price is decided on the basis of total payment made or the purchase price is decided by the total of net assets purchased or sometimes you are given directly the lump sum paid for the purchase as against the purchase price. That is the third alternative wherein we are not required to find out the purchase price. Here in this sum, in case of Hummer Limited by allotment of 30,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each at a premium and the balance in cash, so the total payment is not prescribed. When the total payment is not prescribed and the balance cash paid is to be found out, the sum has to be solved by net asset method. So purchase price is to be determined by net asset method. But the another important point in this sum is that companies form to take over the assets of both the companies. So assets are purchased, liabilities are not purchased. And that two assets are purchased at a value less by 10%. So, we are required to find out the purchase price on the basis of valuation of assets and that to a 10% less. And that purchase price will be compared with the, against that 30,000 equity share of rupees 10 is 3 lakhs, 10% premium there on 3 lakh 30,000. So from the total value of the assets purchased, 3 lakh 30,000 will be deducted to find out the amount of cash paid against the purchase of assets. Same is the case in case of Halab Limited, the balance is paid, balance paid in cash. So these are the important points that I have told to you. All the assets are purchased at 10% less. So you can decrease the value of all assets, but you should not decrease 10% less in case of cash and bank balance. Now let me start. Here I am going to write down the details of assets purchased. Here I am going to write down the details of payment made and the missing item cash will be found out here in what is paid. Now notice that assets were taken at book value less 10%, factory 3 lakhs, deduct 10% thereof, therefrom, so 3 lakhs into 90%. This is the purchase price of factory of Hubble Limited, 60,000 into 90%, 54,000, debtors 2 lakh into 90%, this is the purchase price for debtors, bank balance, you should not decrease 10% therefrom, because it's a, it's not a commodity for which market value fluctuates. Advance is less 10%, bills receivable less 10%, the payment made 30,000 equity share of rupees 10 each, 10% premium is to be considered, 30,000. Now purchase price, this is the total assets purchased. The purchase price of the asset is 5,46,000. From 5,46,000, 3,30,000 is to be deducted. So you will get the cash paid. That works out to be 2,16,000. This is 
This is the missing number that we have found out for the purpose of recording journal entries in the books of purchase. Now same way I want to calculate the purchase price and payment made to Alab Limited. Factory purchase at 90% value, 9 lakhs. Stock at 90% value. Dators also taken at 90% value, that comes to 1 lakh 35,000. Bank balance, same value. Advance is 90% of 6,000. 90% of 75,000 for advances. This is how various assets purchased at a valuation agreed. 1 lakh equity share of rupees 10 is are paid, 10 lakhs, 10% 10 security premium thereon, 1 lakh, this is the total of assets purchased, minus payment made in the form of equity shares, the balance amount is paid in cash, so 1 lakh 25,400 has been paid in cash. After finding out preparing this working note, let me write down the journal entries in the books of purchaser. Business purchase account debit, 546000 to liquidator of Homer Limited account credit. Because the amount of purchase price is to be paid to the liquidator of the vendor company. What is purchased in business? Factory account debit, stock account debit, debtors account debit, bills receivable account debit. Bank balance debited 30, 33,000 to business purchase. So this business purchase account debited is credit that the account gets closed. Now how the payment is made? Liquidator of Homer Limited account debit to equity share capital. Share of 10 is given. 30,000 such shares are given. To security premium, 10% premium on 3 lakhs, 30,000. Cash paid 2,16,000. Bank account credit 2,16,000. This is how the three entries are recorded for the purpose of purchase of business of Hummer Limited. Now I want to write down the journal entries for Alab Limited. Business purchase account debit to liquidator of Alab Limited. Factory account debit. Stock account debit. Retors account debit. Debit what comes in. Bills receivable account debit. Advances account debit, bank balance, bank account debit to business purchase account credit. Payment made to the liquidator of Halab Limited. Liquidator of Halab Limited account debit to equity share capital to security premium to bank account. This is how the three entries are recorded for the purpose of purchase of Halab Limited. Now I want to prepare a balance sheet. Here I prepare no, notes on accounts or name of the accounts. Share capital, reserves and surplus. These are the titles in which the assets. All these details will be embedded. Now, factory tangible assets, non-current assets, tangible assets, factory, stock, inventories, Trade of trade receivables, bills receivable also will go in trade receivables, short term loans and advances. See this is the bank balance purchase, this is the payment made. We are not given the details as to from this, from which source the cash or the funds were raised and the payment is made, we are not given that information. So we write the difference by presumption to bank overdraft account. So 33,000 plus 50,000 minus payment made 2 lakh 16,000 and 1 lakh 25,400. So for that, I have recorded bank vote after account just by presumption. Equity share capital, security premium, all information are covered in this notes on accounts. Now I want to prepare a balance sheet as per schedule 3. These are the titles under which the information is to be recorded as per Schedule 3. Equity share capital, share of rupees 10 each, security premium, 
नॉन करंट लाइब्रिटीज इज नील इन करंट लाइब्रिटीज इज अ बैंक ओवर ड्राफ्ट देन टेंजिबल एसेट्स देन कम्स इन्वेंट एंड स्टॉक Letters and bills receivable, advances. Now have the total of this equity and liability and assets. This is how the balance sheet is prepared. Here, instead of writing name on accounts, you should write notes on accounts. So correct it. Now, while solving the sum, I have recorded journal entries. All these journal entries will appear in this fashion in your notebook if you copy. i have tried to explain you this sum the important points of this sum are that the purchase price is calculated by net asset method but only assets are purchased so liabilities are not required to be deducted and in case of payment the balance paid in cash is found out all the assets are taken at 10% less less but the bank balance and cash balance should not be reduced by 10% so these are the important points for this sum i think you have followed all these things thanks to all of you